What's up and welcome to What's in the Pot. I'm your host Sean Grande and today we are making tuna pasta salad. It's What's in the Pot. So first thing I bought one box of rotini pasta. You can use your favorite type of pasta. And I have one can of chunk light tuna. Um, you can use any kind of tuna, albacore tuna, the um, skipjack tuna, whichever one you have in stock. Um, this one, the chunk light tuna is nice. It kind of blends in nice with the pasta. It's uh, sometimes I like the chunky tuna as well. Now I'm using one eight ounce can of green peas and carrots, peas and carrots mix. These peas are actually a nice sweet taste and the carrots are a nice sweet taste. So you want to go ahead and add that. Now this is imitation crab, which is made out of Pollock and actually king crab meat. So you want to chop that up fine and mix it in. You can use any kind of imitation crab you want. Um, it's just a seafood pasta. So it just gives it a nice taste. Uh, you want to mix these ingredients in first. So after we mix the first set of ingredients, we're going to go ahead and start adding our mayo. I'm using just this uh, whatever generic brand mayo. You can use Miracle Whip as well. I just prefer to use real mayonnaise. And I'm adding three tablespoons of mayonnaise. If you like it a little bit more creamy, you can go ahead and add one more. Or after you mix everything, if you know it's still dry, go ahead and add another uh, teaspoon or tablespoon. Now remember when we're mixing this, we want to make sure that the mayo covers all the pasta. So you just want to mix it in for a couple minutes just to get all the pasta mixed in with the mayo. So we're going to start mixing our seasonings. I'm using Bertie's pimento sauce. Now if you have fresh pimento, go ahead and grind that up and add it in. I'm using this pimento sauce I got from Kalu Box. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some of that Badia Complete seasoning. And I'm gonna add a fair bit, probably about a tablespoon and maybe a little bit more. Um, use it as much as you want. I'm gonna add some uh, Badia All-Purpose seasoning. Uh, any kind of seasoning salt will work. This is about a teaspoon. You don't add too much because you don't want this to be too salty. And also we wanna add a little bit of salt. We're gonna add some fresh sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, any kind of salt you choose. Kosher salt is also really nice. And we're gonna add some black pepper. And the black pepper just gives it a nice flavor. Remember, salt and pepper is always the taste, so it's really up to you. If you don't eat salt or pepper, just don't go ahead and add it. After these ingredients have been added, we wanna go ahead and mix it in. We wanna give it a good mix because now we wanna get all the flavors of all the seasoning mixed in there. Now once you've mixed that for a few minutes, we're gonna add a last set of seasonings into it. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of mustard. You can add a little bit more mustard, gives it a nice flavor. And I'm adding a few drops of tapatio. The tapatio is optional. I just like the little bit of the extra kick that it gives you. And you can use any kind of hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce will work. Now I added cayenne, but I added too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. So I've taken out the cayenne. Um, and the last and final ingredient, some Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay seasoning for me, anytime I'm doing anything seafood related, I love to add it, it's essential. This is like the secret ingredient to my tuna or to my seafood pasta salad. So you wanna go ahead and add about two teaspoons of Old Bay. I like that a lot, but Old Bay definitely is the secret ingredient. Once we've added that Old Bay and the rest of the seasonings and take out that extra cayenne that fell in, we're gonna go ahead and give that a good mix. Now after mixing for a few minutes, that's it. That's all you need for my seafood pasta salad. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for tuning in to What's in the Pot. And don't forget to hit that little bell to be reminded when we drop a new video. Peace.